Hello from Vine Smart Home, and today we're going to be talking about the two Wi-Fi thermostats, the TJ610 and 919. Now both thermostats have the same features and function the same, there are some slight differences. The 919 has a 4.5 inch flat screen, while the 610 has 3.5 inch screen with the knob on it. Both thermostats are Alexa and Google Home compatible. The average price of the 610 is $99.99, while the average for the 919 is $129.99. Compare that to its competitor Nest, which the Nest E goes for $169, and then the Nest third generation goes for $249. Wow! As you can see, both Vine thermostats are much more affordable. Now, let's learn about some of the unique features that come with the Vine thermostat. So this is the Vine Smart Wi-Fi thermostat with 7-day programming, touchscreen, and nightlight. And of course, it comes with the knob to adjust the temperature. Turn the knob to increase or decrease the temperature to the preferred set point. The small number equals the set point, while the big number equals the current temperature. There's also a hold option, which locks the set point. You can click the cancel when you're ready to go back to the regular scheduled program. Now, in order to select heat or cool, click on the mode icon on the bottom left. Then change mode, and you'll have your choices from heat, cool, or auto. And you can click on the icons to select the preferred mode. And then, of course, click on the check mark to save any changes you made. The green indicator means that the heating or the cooling is on. Also, the green indicator over the fan icon. You want to click on the fan icon to change settings. Auto is the recommended setting. If you leave it on, the fan will be on 24-7. And you can click on Setup Circulation, which will create a fan schedule. Some other features of the Vine include the Easy Comfort, the Date and Time, and the Humidifier. Also, the Nightlight feature, which is one of the unique features that makes the Vine stand out compared to other smart thermostats. You click on the System menu, then Preferences, and you can create your own Nightlight Schedule. Choose the preferred nightlight setting between dim and high, and then click on Setup to create your nightlight schedule. Use the arrows to adjust and click on the time, and then once you are finished creating your schedule, click on the check mark to save. And then you also want to click on the system menu for more features. One feature includes the weather forecast, which shows the current temperature, today's temperature range, and the temperature over the next five days so you can be prepared based on programming and also what to wear before you go outside. Now the weather forecast feature can only be activated once you have registered your thermostat with your phone. Now let's create a seven day program. You want to click on the system menu, then heating and cooling, and then you got some options under heating and cooling with the mode, programming, fan, easy comfort, and heat setup. Let's click on programming. And then you also got options under programming. Program on off. You can choose it to be on or off to be a normal thermostat. And you can select a program, which there are two default programs, the summer and the winter program. You can add or delete programs by using the smart home app. Now, click on Program Change, and that will take you to the Schedule Weekdays and Weekends. The Shaded Day indicates this is the current day, so we'll click on Wednesday. Today's Wednesday. And that shows your current program schedule, which shows the period number, time, temperature, and the temperature range. Click on Set, and that will take you to the screen where you can make adjustments to the periods. And you can push on the numbers to switch to the preferred period. Use the arrows to move the time or the temperature up and down and use the indicator as well. And you can also press on the power button to turn the period off or back on. Click on the insert button and that will add a new period. Select yes to insert at the beginning. Select no to insert at the end of the period. 
you can create up to eight periods on the Vine thermostat. But looking at it, eight may be a bit much. Click on set and then click on delete to remove any of the periods. The Vine will always have two default periods, one that's always starting at midnight. Click on copy if you want to copy the current schedule you created to any other day of the week or weekend. Select copy to confirm and then click on the check mark to save any changes you made. And that is how you create a program for your Vine Smart thermostat. Now, your thermostat sometimes may be disconnected from the Wi-Fi. Programs will save with the loss of the Wi-Fi. Now, to reconnect to the Wi-Fi, you want to click on the Wi-Fi symbol. And then if you don't see your network right away, just hit on the toolbars to research it. And then select your Wi-Fi network when it appears. And of course, you want to type in your password. Once you typed it in, press OK. Once you click OK, the thermostat will go through six steps to connect to the Wi-Fi. Verifying password, connecting to internet, connecting to server, building secure channel, registering device, and updating account. You will see a green check mark once it is connected to the Wi-Fi. Now, let's click on App Cloud Registration to register your device with your cell phone via the Vine Smart Home app. You need to collect the Mac ID and the temporary verification code. You can add it or scan it on your phone. The information will appear and press OK. And once you see your account name and another green check mark, that means the registration was successful. And you can now control your thermostat from the Vine Smart Home app. Now after installing your thermostat, you must select the heating type system. You can choose the heat type in heat setup, and you can choose between gas oil, electric, or heat pump. Make sure the reverse valve is set to cool if you have a heat pump. The thermostat is required a C wire in order to power on with its standard four, five, six wire system and occasionally three wires. You can open the side and that will show a USB plug outlet as well as a way to restart your thermostat. And there is also a lock button that you can press and that will lock your thermostat. Type in a four digit code so you can lock it and then press OK and see your system is now locked. Only you will have access to it. No one can adjust the thermostat or do anything with it while it is in lock mode and you can re-enter the code to unlock it, and you can also unlock it via the Vine app. And see now, it is unlocked. Now let's take a tour of the beautiful TJ919 with its four and a half flat screen. It does not have a knob, unlike the 610, so you have to use the touch screen to increase or decrease the temperature. Although it has the exact same features as the 610, as you can tell, it's formatted a little differently. It has the same system menu, easy comfort, nightlight, date time, and Wi-Fi. Just like the 610, you can click on the Wi-Fi symbol and your username and account will appear. You can click on the system menu to access more features like the weather, programming, settings. If you click on programming, again, summer and winter default. Click on edit and that shows the current program where you can edit and copy just like the 610. And you can also change the mode as well by clicking on the mode icon and then edit the program, turn off the program and even turn off the thermostat. As mentioned, the 919 and the 610 both have the same exact features. Now, what comes in the box is the installation manual, user guide, wire label, backplate, screws, and a screwdriver. Once your thermostat has been installed and set up correctly, you can now start enjoying life a little more with the Vine thermostats.